Check it out. Public service announcement. Um, Did you get that? It's your boy T Hattie. And I'm in the field with the track stars. Where you at, Shouty? Holla at your boy. Back in the field with the track stars. Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a noteworthy. This one is interesting, man. We we um we get noteworthy uh, a lot, and sometimes we get ones that are like, oh, we got to do this right away. This is this is kind of serious. This person needs an answer right away. So this is an emergency noteworthy. Um, this one is called Join the Gang. Said, uh, what up, track stars? I'm a young teenager, and I found out about you guys from the south. <coughs> I'm the only Christian in my family. The rest of my family is very heavy with the bloods here in LA. I don't want to join the gang, but I'm, I'm a, I've been approached by rival gangs every day in school. My father wants me to join the gang because he feels everybody in the family is blood and I would be third generation blood. I pray about this and I know God and my church family has been praying for me, but I feel the pressure to join from my family and I don't know what to do. Track stars, could you help me in any kind of way? Join the gang. What do y'all think? Wow. First of all, thank you for keeping it real and for like reaching out to us because that is a very it's a very real place and um, I commend you for just reach, reaching out for having the courage and the bravery to say, hey, this is a situation I need help. And so, you know, first and foremost, I want to commend you on that. Um, and then secondly, um, and I don't know if we were talking about this offline or what. But it definitely brings to remembrance to me the passage of scripture. I believe it's in Matthew where Jesus is basically talking to the disciples about, um, he uses the word hate, I believe in, um, maybe it's in the King James Version, but about hating your mother and father. If some, if you don't hate your mother and father, then you can't follow me. And a lot of people look at that like, oh my gosh, she wants me to like, you know, totally be against my family. But the way it was broken down to me is that your love for Christ should be so much greater than your love for parents for your parents that it will will feel like that at times or may resemble that at times and so <coughs> that's the scripture that was brought forth to me um as i was reading your letter because literally when you decide that you're going to follow christ it will mean not can it will at times mean that you're going to come to a crossroads where it's like okay wow my parents are saying something and the Bible is saying something else. And that's a hard line to walk, especially because the Bible also tells us to honor your parents. And so by no means am I telling you to disobey your parents. I'm not saying that. But I am saying when it comes in direct opposition to the word, you have to find a way to choose the word of God over what those around you are saying. And that includes your family. And that's a, that's a tough line. That's a tough line to walk. Now, th this is when the preacher typically is like, nah, <laughs> the only blood you need is the blood of Jesus. <laughs> but you don't need that. You know what I'm saying? You already know, you, obviously, from your note, um, you know it's not right. Um, so really what you're asking is, how do you deal with the, sh the tension between what your heavenly family says and what your earthly family says? And that's that's a real tour, mm -hmm. um, tear right there. And... I think this is one of those things is I think you have to convince, be convinced that it is wrong. Like if you're still, if you're still kind of wondering if it's okay, you gotta, you gotta convince yourself that being a part of a gang, any gang is unwise in every single way possible. Um, but it sounds like you have a church family and this may be one of those things where you put your church family like Maya was saying, above your earthly family and reach out to them and tell them you need help, like help, help. Not just like pray for me help, but like I need protection help. You know what I mean? Because this is, this is dangerous. I mean, I, I, know, I know the climate you're in may be very um, tumultuous right now. Like, I mean, if you got gangs around you, your family's in a gang, like... I can imagine your 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 life is a little on edge, but I guess I would need to know how much pressure they're putting on you. If they're putting like extreme pressure on you, it may be like I got it, and I don't know how old you are. You may need to 
reach above your family to get some help. You see what I'm saying? Like some actual, actual help. Yeah. Um, if it's more of a subtle thing, like, you know, your dad was in it, he's not really in it anymore. He's just kind of like, like, kind of like wanting you to pledge, you know, like mm -hmm. a person that used to be um, um, a Greek would do. Then that's one of those things you may have to be like, no, I, I don't want to do that. And just stand up to your, your family. I'm, I'm just feeling like it's more than that. Yeah. I feel like you might actually need to tell somebody yeah. with some power to help you in the situation, like actual help. Mm -hmm. This is this is a little bit above prayer, and, and this is where God would want you to actually do something about your situation. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, I would say, um, <clears throat> um, once you in, it only takes a miracle to come out. Um, so I think, like you said, like church family has to really step up, mm -hmm. um, because if not, you can get yourself in a dangerous situation. Um, I think, man, like gangs normally are a, a twisted version of a family. People join gangs because they don't have nobody else. They get with somebody that's like, yo, be like us. We could help you, whatever. And the thing about him is, he has, like like you said, two families. You know what I mean? One that's in the gang life, and then the other that's in the church. So, I would recommend him. I know, man, it could be tough. You walk at home, people approach you. You're in school, people approach you. You really have to trust God. Like, God, you're going to protect me. Um, even if I have to run from these people, you're still going to protect me. Um, even if I have to go a different way home, you still won't protect me. So, um, more importantly, man, I would just say, like he said, like, talk to your, your church family. Like, really be bold about that. You know what I mean? Um, but the, let me ask you a question. Did anybody y'all know ever join the gang? Or, like, part of gang stuff? Yeah, um, one of my friends when I was in Florida, um, in South Florida, the the big gang was the Latin Kings, mm. and they kind of ran a lot of our school. And he got caught up in that, and you know, he started selling weed and doing all that kind of stuff. And it's just hard because I didn't have the fan like family pressure like that. That just seems so. That's why it kind of kind of caught our attention because it's it's not just oh you just can't hang out with those people anymore or or like these people are in your in your house yeah i don't know what i could have done against that i was able to you know kind of i didn't disassociate myself with him but he knew where i was and he knew i wasn't gonna like it was clear like i'm not getting involved with stuff like that you could try somebody else but your fan like i'm trying to i'm trying to grasp like people in your house are encouraging you to do something so dangerous and they probably have a flip view of it they probably are like yo this this helped me get where i am like you know like when we we're having a black panther conversation somebody from the other side of the table might be like it ain't that bad it ain't this it ain't that it's not what the media says it is i beg to differ man i don't care what i don't care what they can say you do not need that you don't need that you have the best gang in the world yeah. uh, that you're a part of and these are just these gangs are just imitations of, of what you have already you don't need a gang um ah man I, I'm, I'm really at a loss on this one I, if it wasn't in your house this would be so easy to me but i don't know what to do with the people in his house how does he get away from it i mean you well you hit on it earlier by definitely being honest with the people in your house because i think genuinely that they'll respect that they can respect that um, if you are firm and solid in why you don't want to be a part or, you know, just just where you are as it relates to being a believer, I believe that's something that's worth respecting, even if they don't totally understand it or get it. It may even serve as a witness to them, honestly. This is this is what I'm calling for. We we thought about um, bringing in some people in here that were a part of gangs mm -hmm. or are currently a part of gangs. But it's such a it's such a dangerous thing. If, mm -hmm. if you're a part of it and there's some rival issue going on, you don't want to identify yourself, and we, we didn't mm -hmm. want to get anybody in any kind of trouble. But I would encourage anybody listening to this noteworthy. If you are a part of it or you've been a part of it, and you can add to the conversation mm -hmm. on YouTube by writing a comment, or you can add by doing a, a response video. You don't have to give your identity identity away or anything like that. But this this kid needs. 
like immediate help if possible. Like somebody that can that can really give him an answer to his situation specifically. Because we could say all day, don't join gangs. If anybody else is listening that isn't in an as intense situation as him, do not join a gang. Nothing good can come from it. Your 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 um, godly body is your gang. That's all you need. You don't need anything that resembles a gang in any form, especially one that's, that resorts to violence or any kind of illegal activity to, to do what they do. But I think he needs some extra attention. So I'm really calling on the listeners, man. If you have any insight into this, please respond to uh, the, the kid that wrote this note. I don't know how old he is. Um, he listens to the track stars. So I think he has some connection to some positive music. He's connected to a church, but his father wants him to be a blood. His grandfather was a blood. What do you do about that? This is this is this is above <coughs> just good advice, like from, yeah. from somebody like us. This needs he needs some special attention. I, I pray that somebody in your church can intervene into your situation with more than just words and, and hope you hope you live right or whatever. You need some some actual help and and I I hope that once you get out of your situation, hopefully you're not as young as I think you are. Hopefully you're at a point where you can you can soon leave your situation. Um, I would love to hear your story after all this is done. Um, if, if any in any way you could give us a follow up, we really are concerned about you. Like seriously, when we saw this note come through, we were like, "Yo, we got to do something now." We, you know, my sister was really concerned. She 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 responded and she was like, "We got to get somebody. We got to get him help right now." Um, this is serious to us, so please, if, if you can write another note or reveal who you are in some sort of way so we can pray for you and actually talk to you and see if we can actually get you some real help, because sometimes this is this is beyond noteworthy. Like, you need actual help, and we want to help you with that, so what do y'all think? What if he is? What if he's, like, afraid? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, because that could be something, too, like, you know, because you, I don't know, is would you consider his welfare at stake? I don't know. I mean, I'm 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 impressed that he's able. I mean, he's able to go to church. He's able to listen to our show. Like he has a, a lot of um, leeway. I, it, it looks yeah. like. So I, I hope it's not as dire as I'm 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 afraid it is. But I just your dad. This is your dad.